I've been asked quite a few times as to what I think about all that's been happening with the pandemic and the bought and paid for riders. As usual, I just send a list of blog entries that I did on all this, but that's a lot of reading or video watching as I made a short video for each of them as well. But since I've been asked to summarize all the blogs that I did on this, I decided to share this video so as to condense things a little bit. And if anyone wants more info, they can just check out all the links in the blog entries as I have many links in each and every one of them. But check this out. The lockdowns that destroyed many jobs, businesses, and careers was a very strategic act for the powers that be in that when the buy and sell portion of the mark of the beast is enforced, as the Pope wants to do using climate change by 2027, as well as the death decree, that his one world government hopes to enforce by the year 2030 during their long prophesied one hour with the beast, they knew locking millions of people down made it easy for them to recruit contact tracers for when this all changes from tracking down people with COVID-19 to tracking down people refusing to keep Sunday holy. In fact, becoming a contact tracer is one of the fastest growing jobs in America right now. And to ensure this goes much smoother when it comes to enforcing the buy and sell portion of the mark, they're right now using the pandemic to make cash illegal due to their claims that the virus can be transferred with money. And for those that don't believe that bold-faced lie, they also came up with another lie that says the virus disrupted the circulation of cash due to people buying mostly online, and that somehow led to a shortage. But again, Only those that don't realize money is minted and printed nonstop are going to believe that one. If anything, the lack of circulation would cause a surplus of cash because no one's using it and they keep printing it. But seeing how most prefer to believe the lies exactly as prophesied in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 10 to 11, most will just trust the media over actual reality. And since we all know they cannot enforce the mark if the people still have access to cash, well, that was a done deal from day one. We all knew that. And by the way, even the thermal cameras that are popping up in all the government buildings, as well as many businesses, and they are soon to be showing up in all the airports, we can see that it won't be that hard to switch from taking everyone's temperature to using facial recognition software to find those that refuse to receive the admitted mark of the beast in Rome. But what about the masks and the social distancing? How does that play into all this? Well, students of prophecy could tell you that the prophesied ladder rain is about to fall, And with that, the promised time of refreshing from the Lord, which we know is needed to bless the obedient people of God with the words needed to proclaim the loud cry when we go forth with the three angels' message. That bold and biblical truth we present actually empties many apostate churches once the truth gets out about what the mark of the beast really is. And so, with masks on faces and the inability to gather in crowds to preach to the masses, as well as many strange laws removing free speech, Satan hopes to make it difficult for us to preach unto the tens of thousands daily all over the world so as to help them escape his charred trophy case. But the ever-living God of the Bible has already revealed unto his obedient people just how we are going to get around all that. And so keep praying that we have the means to do the work as well as the faith to stand firm as we do it. For just as all people, you know, believers and non-believers alike, we have all seen every prophecy of the last days come to fulfillment with uncanny accuracy. You can rest assured that the last few prophecies are going to fulfill just as they were written to be fulfilled. However, they will fulfill much quicker, and so now is the time to prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his paths straight. Thank you for watching. God bless.